All right, today we're gonna to talk about the best mechanical numpads of 2020. So, what is a numpad? Well, it's the, uh, the numbers on a pad <laughs> that go on the right side of your keyboard typically, um, and usually you have to hit the numlock key and it has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or nine, and zero. Um, basically, the numpad is used for a lot of data entry stuff and uh, for gaming and for macros and stuff like that. Uh, so let's dive a little bit deeper into its usages and uh, then we'll go on to the list. So for data entry, entry, typically the numpad's on the right hand, high hand side of the keyboard, but it's actually more efficient if you put it on the left hand side. And since a lot of keyboards don't come with that built in, usually it's just easier to buy the numpad separately and uh, and use that along with like a 10 keyless keyboard or maybe 60% or something like that. So if you have the numpad on the left side, you can do your data entry with your left hand and then use your right hand on the arrow cluster and uh, go through each of the cells that way. So it makes it a bit faster because you never have to lift up your hands. You can always leave them in place and type that way. Uh, another thing that's used in is gaming. Um, you can use a numpad uh, instead of the arrow keys and it lets you focus more on what's important and whatever you're using in the game and you can uh, re reprogram all the individual keys for whatever controls you have in the game too. So it makes everything a little bit more compact and efficient and less distracting. Another use is for macros. So some of these numpads have different programmable keys. And what that allows you to do is uh, program in shortcuts or maybe if you're doing something that's uh, highly repetitive, you can just cut it out entirely and just make it all happen within the push of a button and put that on your numpad. So uh, that's about it for the different purposes that you use a numpad for. So let's go into our list. The first one is the Cherry G84 4700. Just want to make sure I got that right. It is uh, $71, it comes with cherry switches, and uh, all of the keys are, so there's 22 keys that are reprogrammable, so you can basically do a macro for each one, or you can assign whatever you want to it, basically. The switches are cherry MLs, so they're not MXs, and the main difference is, is that a cherry ML is similar to a cherry brown switch, except uh, it's a bit more shallow. So. It still has that quiet tactile feel to it, but um, it's not as not as far of a press, I guess. It also has four additional keys along the top, and uh, those aren't marked or anything or labeled. Those are just additional programmable programmable keys that you can use. So, next up on the list is the Jelly Comb. Out of all the numpads, this one is the absolute cheapest. It's coming in at sixteen dollars. Um, it's a really cool numpad. It's very basic, but that's sort of what you can expect for that price range. It has switches, which is nice, which makes it mechanical. It has the Outamu Blues, which are very similar to the Cherry Blues, just uh, kind of a knockoff, I think. So that's why they're able to price it so affordably. Uh, so the Jelly Comb has the issue of rollover, so if you try and press more than four keys at once, then a lot of times it won't register. So you have to be careful with that. So it might not be the best for gaming, um, but it would still work for data entry and stuff like that. It has blue LED lights, like as a backlight. So if you're into that too, that's great. But third up on the list is a really interesting one. It's quite unique. It's the Ducky Pocket. It's $69, but the coolest thing about it is it has a calculator actually built into it, so uh, you have the mechanical keys, of course, and then you can just type that and use it as a calculator, but you can also plug it in and use it as a number pad as well. It's quite interesting. It also has a battery, so you can take it with you wherever you go, because you, if you're cool like that, you got your, your calculator with you. Um, it has Cherry MX switches, and it has 22 programmable keys, so it's kind of an interesting one. Um, and at $69, it's not too expensive compared to the Cherry one. Um, last up on the list is the Leopold 
210 TP. It's $59, so out of everything on the list, it's kind of a mid-range numpad. Uh, it has cherry switches and uh, PVT keycaps. Um, so it has like higher quality keycaps and you know they feel a bit better. They're not, they don't get as greasy and shiny as the ABS plastic ones do. Um, unfortunately, this one's not programmable. Um, I would expect it to be for, for that price range, but uh, it sounds like the overall build quality is really nice. So um, if you're not looking for a program, if you're not looking for programmable keys, this one is still great for you. So overall, that's the four that we wanted to show you. Um, those are the best numpads of 2020, the mechanical ones at least. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and check out the blog post. Um, it'll have some more info on about all the different uh, types and you'll have some photos too as well. So definitely go check that out. But thank you.